got played. You won't believe how much this family paid for their Disney trip. I definitely got to hear this. Disney's super expensive. A lot of these amusement parks are super expensive. So I try to tell people when you're coming down and you're thinking that you're going to spend a couple days at a couple of the parks, you have to be ready to spend the dollars. Also, if you're thinking about flash passes, if you're thinking about all this, you're thinking about getting the extra VIP privileges, it's going to run up the check. If you ever had any questions about Florida, either Miami, things to do down there, or things to do in Orlando, and you're trying to save a dollar or try to get into these parks when I'm spending the most, always feel free to reach out to me. You know, I've got a little bit of hustle to get around a lot of shit. So here's how much we spent at Disney, day two of five. A mediocre breakfast at Hollywood and Vine cost us $223. Imagine that. That shit looked like continental breakfast for $223. That is nuts. Yeah, you got Goofy to come to your table, stupid, because you're the only Goofy that paid that price. Then we headed over to Toy Story Land, and even with Lightning Lane, we still only got to ride one ride. That's what I also told, uh, that's what I also told my girl. I went with my family in 2017. I remember my dad spent a crazy bag. He, he bought like eight to nine lightning passes for the family when we all went. And after even doing that, we only rode a handful of rides. Like, we still never got to ride every single ride, even with the lightning pass. When you just gotta avoid peak season for those parks. If you're trying to get on all the rides and do all that, do not go during peak season. That's why I have to hurry up and go to Disney? Because peak season is among, and I had so much time to go there. And I was like, I'm not interested and I don't wanna go. Ice cream was $25 and popcorn was 16. Then over at Galaxy's Edge, three lightsabers cost us a whopping $800. Oh, nah, so they came to spend the bag. They came to spend the bag. You already know not even to ask for some shit like that. So they're doing lightsabers over there where Universal's doing uh, wands at Harry Potter World. That's how they get in niggas some wooden wands and shit, like 300 bucks. The lightsabers, three of them, nah, y'all niggas would've chose one color for the crib. We could put that shit in the living room, hang it up on the wall. Y'all change. They also no longer hold them for you until the end of the day. Plus, different airlines have different restrictions when flying home, so we opted to ship them to us for an additional cost. Every ride had 120 minute wait time, so we only got to ride one ride in this section of the park as well. We tried the infamous blue and green milk and had lunch at Backlot and funnel cakes at Epic Eats. Photo Pass was an extra $170 for cell phone quality pictures, and finally we had dinner at Planet Hollywood. Factoring in our nightly hotel rate of $997 brings our total to $3,758 for the day. Bruh, bruh, for the day she was about to say, because this should look like a one day event. Well, she said the hotel, so I'm assuming that she's throwing in yeah, the hotel pricing, but bro, this is insane. There's no way these kids getting homemade i appreciate all the tips but obviously all right so she already they already coming at her because i can already say she edited her caption and everything like they already coming at her on how she could have saved money and how she could have avoided doing all this crazy shit the fact she put up this tiktok i look at it as a tiny flex the fact that she's i appreciate all the tips but i obviously was there willing to spend the bag i'm assuming that's how she ended it allegedly i don't know what she said after but i obviously i'm just thinking that this was a life flex for social media because you obviously because you obviously were spending money ridiculously like you wasn't even thinking about what you were spending on you guys let me know down below was this worth it or was this not i definitely think to me it was not to only ride one ride even during peak season this week i still have the apps i still know how to walk around from ride to ride i check which one's low jump on those rides come back my girlfriend's nephew came a couple weeks ago took him we literally got on every single ride at a day that universal was extremely packed at islands of adventure like extremely packed we got on everything haggard roller coaster to the velociraptor roller coaster the hulk all that we just kept jumping from whatever it was i kept looking on the app all right cool this this line dropped under whatever time we going over there this is that 120 let's avoid that so we'll see that drop down a little bit we already know how to move i don't know how to move shorty's there and the captain's saying like obviously i didn't care obviously i was there to just waste money i was there to just donate to the disney family